What do we have here? What's going on hikers? In today's video, I'm gonna answer the top 10 frequently asked questions on the Aegis Max UL sleeping bag. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Now, like I said, today's video, I want to answer 10 frequently asked questions about the Aegis Max to tell you a little bit more about it. I have already done a review on this exact same sleeping bag, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it above. Now, a lot of these questions I got from Amazon because um, that's where this bag is for sale at. It's a great budget option. So at the moment, I think the uh, short version is $80 and the long version is $85, but you can get the most current prices in the link below. Um, I'll link it in the description. Now, in no particular order, I'm gonna list off these questions and answer them, starting with number one. Just how big is this sleeping bag? Well, it comes in two sizes, as I already mentioned. It comes in a regular, which is um, 170 centimeters or approximately five foot seven inches in standard. And then the second size, the long version, is about 190 on some um, sellers it says 200 centimeters. And that is about six foot three inches. Which leads me into question number two. What size is the sleeping bag whenever I put it in the compression sack and I cinch it down? Well, I don't know, but let me run and grab my measuring tape and we'll find out. Got it. I should probably mention mine is the long version because I am six foot three inches. So here she is before I tighten down the compression straps. I'm gonna say about 10 to 11 inches and the diameter probably about four and a half to five inches across. Now if we cinch down the straps, <laughs> this looks like an alien. <laughs> All right, I'm not very strong, but that's about as far as I could get it cinched down. Compressed, I'm gonna say around seven inches long. And the diameter's a little bit more. It's about five-ish inches, maybe six across because we kind of smushed it together. Also, pro tip, if you wanna compress this, I like to push it together and pull the straps as I go. That way I'm not putting so much tension on the compression strap itself. Number three frequently asked question is, is the stuff sack waterproof? No, 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 no. It is not waterproof. Do not get it wet. You're gonna ruin the insulation value of the down while it's wet. Number four, what's the actual temperature rating for this sleeping bag? Well, in Celsius, it's 11 degrees as a comfort rating, which in Fahrenheit, it's about 52 degrees. And I would say that's fairly accurate because I've taken this sleeping bag down to about you know, 45 degrees more or less with a sleeping pad that's insulated. And I found that I got a little bit cold. Um, so I wouldn't take it really below 50 degrees or you're probably not gonna have a great time unless you're a warm sleeper, which you may be. Number five, one of my favorites being a bigger guy is if I'm over six feet tall, will I fit in the sleeping bag? Well, the short answer is I would get the long version even if you're under six feet, because you're gonna have more room, it's not gonna be as constrictive uh, unless you really like the mummy bag taper style. Even the website, um, the, you know, the manufacturers on Amazon say, don't get the uh, regular size if you're an adult male. So that kind of tells you right there. Now at six foot three, my hood on my sleeping bag doesn't um, fit really great and I can't really stick a pillow inside of it. So. I would definitely go with the long version. And anybody that's over 6'3", expect um, probably for your head to stick out a little bit more. I could do this all day. The next question, number six. How far down does the zipper go? Well, the zipper about goes to my knees. Of course, it's gonna be different on every person, but you're gonna have, I don't know, a foot or two before um, the end of your sleeping bag. So don't expect it to all the way unzip like a quilt does. That's simply not gonna happen. If you want a visual of that, um, here's the end of the zipper, here's the end of the sleeping bag. So yeah, uh, I'd say two feet, you know, maybe 26 inches. Why am I guessing at it? Why don't I just measure it? 33 inches from the end of the sleeping bag uh, to where the zipper 
will be fully unzipped. Number seven, still on the zipper here. If I'm lying on my back, or is it lying? I think it's lying. I don't think it's lying. If I'm lying on my back, which side is the zipper on? The zipper would be on your left hand side if you're lying on your back looking up at the sky. Number eight, there's two different versions, Jeremiah. Which one should I buy? The black or the green? Well, it depends on what you want. The difference is um, the black only comes in the long version. The green, which I have, because I didn't see the black at the time, it comes in the regular or the long. But remember, I say you should probably get the long version. Number nine, what's the fill power or how lofty or fluffy is the down or the insulation in this sleeping bag? Well, without going into too much depth, it's 800 fill power is the short answer. The long answer would be, if I were to take the down and weigh out an ounce of it, how many cubic inches of space would that down take up? And the more space it takes up, the fluffier it is, the warmer it is. So at 800 fill power, it would take up that many cubic inches at one ounce in weight. If you want to see how many times I screwed up trying to film this video, just watch the bloopers after this 10th question. So number 10, how do I wash this down sleeping bag? Because it's not synthetic, so I can't just throw it in the washer and let it go like with the rest of my clothes. Well, there's actually three ways. Now, I'll list them off here to you, but I'm not going to go super in depth. I will link in the description um, REI's website, and they'll tell you specifically what you're supposed to do to do these three types of washings. So number one, you can wash it yourself. Um, a bathtub would work great. Number two, you can wash it in a washing machine and a dryer. But there's a certain way you do it, and there's certain um, laundry soap that you have to use. You can't just use your regular Tide or whatever you have at home. And then the third way that you could wash it is actually send it off to a professional. I don't have one that I use, but you can find them online. Folks, I want you to tell me, are there any other pieces of gear that you use that you would like a top 10 frequently asked questions video made about? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Also, pro tip, that is 52 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously. Well, it's nine degrees, unless you're small. And when I say small, I mean like... Number seven, how far... Number seven, how far... Number seven, still on the zipper here. How... Number seven, still on the zipper here. <laughs> God, why can't I say this? <laughs> Number seven, still on the zipper here. If I'm laying, or is it lying? I don't know. If I'm lying, laying,